mean? Uh, okay, so 632, and I don't have to tell a lot of parents, if they have children that are involved in athletics, it can get very expensive. In a hurry, and so what are local athletes doing? They're getting creative and looking to more of a global community for help. And for details on this, we check in live with our Crystal Allen, and I love that at 633 in the morning, we have athletes already in action here in town. Oh yeah, Kim, Dana, they work hard. Let me tell you, I was talking to their coach. They do two and a half, three hour practice sessions, play for just as long. So these guys are really serious about what they're doing here. This is Vegas Extreme Volleyball. It's a traveling club team. And you're right, they're turning to more of a global network of support, if you will, GoFundMe. And if you're not familiar with GoFundMe, we have a little page that we're gonna bring up to you right now. A young player by the name of Brendan Wagner, he actually started this GoFundMe account, and it's the idea of getting people from multiple sources to support you for whatever venture it may be. In particular, a lot of people are turning to this to help fund their local teams, as you see right here. So let me bring Brendan into the conversation right now. Brendan Wagner, how are you this morning? Bright and early. So, you know, what made you decide to start up this GoFundMe page? Well, I get a better opportunity to see college coaches and play at a higher level. Yeah, and so you're going to, you're getting ready for a big competition in Hawaii. You were one of a few players picked for this elite honor. Yeah, it's going to be really cool there. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, good luck, Brendan. Go practice. We're not going to let you off that easy. Go practice. Ray Lewis, bring it into the conversation. You were saying that these players, they travel five to seven months out of the year, so it gets really expensive. Yeah, it does. It's very costly at times. You know, hotels, vans, uniforms, transportation, it's a lot of things that take into account. So the fundraising definitely helps these kids be able to do things that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. I love it. And Ray Lewis, such a dedicated coach here to this travel team. The parents just love him and rave about him. So GoFundMe really becoming a popular form of fundraising. It beats, I guess, candy bars and Tupperware like I used to do. Talking to the folks at GoFundMe, they say that they now have teams that have raised about $14.2 million in funds through sources like GoFundMe on the internet. So even locally here, Kim and Dana, people are turning to it for a little help. Vegas Extreme Volleyball, getting it done this morning. And Crystal, I know what everyone is thinking. Kim is way too young to have a son that old in Brendan Wagner. So, no, no Crystal relation. <laughs> no relation. No relation. And you know what's <laughs> funny, too, is I think we figured That's out a way to get teenage boys out of bed at this hour. Get them on TV. They're like, sure. It'll work, right? So go fund me. But